In class, we have been calculating the energy changes of a material that caused a change in temperature. But so far, we've mostly just talked about the effect on one material. So, what happens when one system does work on the other? Let's look at an example. Let's say I have a 3.1 kilogram bucket of water at 20 degrees Celsius, and I drop a 0.6 kilogram piece of steel into it. After a while, they will both reach equilibrium at 25 degrees Celsius. How would I find the initial temperature of the steel? Well, let's find the energy gained by the water first, or Q sub water. Q equals mc delta t. First, we need to find delta t. Well, delta t is t final minus t initial. So if we plug in 25 degrees Celsius and 20 degrees Celsius, we get our delta t to be five degrees Celsius. If we plug that into our equation with the other information, we get an energy gain of 64,790 joules. The first law of thermodynamics states that if a system gains energy, work was done on it, or that the sum of all the thermal energy must equal zero. That means that the energy that the water gained must have been lost, or have a negative sign, by the steel. So we can plug that in as the negative Q for steel. If we plug that into our equation, we can solve for the initial temperature, which we can get as 245 degrees Celsius. So if we need to find a piece of information and we have everything else for the other substance, we can use this equilibrium idea to find what we need. Q equals negative Q, or MC delta T equals negative MC delta T. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have another bucket of water with 3.5 kilograms of water at 18 degrees Celsius. This time, we drop in a 1.2 kilogram block of aluminum at 90 degrees Celsius. How would we find the final temperature? Well, we'll set it up the same way. Q gain equals negative Q loss, or MW, CW, delta TW is equal to negative MA, CA, delta TA. We want T final, so we need to foil out the TF from the delta T. It gets really messy if we do this. Now that we've made a mess, we have to organize. The initial terms move to one side, and the final terms move to the other. If we factor the TF out, we can divide both sides by MWCW plus MACA and get our final equation for TF. Yuck. But doable. If we plug in all of our information into this nasty equation, we get the final temperature to be 22.9 degrees Celsius. This is the hardest information to solve for here, so you won't see this very often, but you need to be ready to do this level of algebra. Be sure you review this carefully before class tomorrow so you'll be ready. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video with us. We hope you learned something. If you like what you saw, hit the like button. For more awesome engineering videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll see you next time.